Okay, with Coach Dean Burrell and uh, Dino. First of all, how do you think the team been performing like in the last like few weeks, going up to Christmas and just after? Um, Christmas is always a, a difficult time, obviously, uh, festive year. And, um, I mean, we didn't do ourselves a few weeks ago. Obviously, we went right now we were under strength in a rescheduled game um, and we came out with a loss and, and then we went in the following day into uh, Streatham and it was a two-all game. Um, I think we got what we deserved and we didn't deserve any more. Um, so, you know, we, we've had that. Um, we obviously had the likes of Milton Keynes come here and who always put on a good solid display and um, Good work ethic. Um, we we then uh, went to to Harrogate, and we only got to the end of the second period. Unfortunately, the goal got injured. In that game, we started to click a little bit. We started to get back in our own way. It just shows in a way that you know we, we had the situations in over the Christmas period the way it fell with ice time, and um, you know it. it just started to sort of show on us a little bit, I think, and uh, we weren't clicking, we weren't um, all on the same page at times. And then obviously on Sunday we, we go to Streatham and we, you know, we turned them over, and uh, which was a good good display all round defensively, offensively. Um, and I think you know the scoreline didn't really do it justice as to how difficult Streatham made it for us. And, you know, I thought they played reasonably well, um, and, but we, you know, we, we, we turned them over and um, we a good display. Um, what the, what's the team's attitude been like in training at like, like, these past few weeks? In training, the boys just want to get back to a bit of normality, I think. You know, the, we've stepped it up a bit, you know, we're working hard. Um, yeah, they're a good bunch, so it's, there's not been any, I mean, there's not been any issues. So that good attitude, good positive attitude, and um, you know we we'll carry on fighting and uh, see where we end up at the end of the season in the league. Um, with sort of James Aiden and Aaron Conley being called up to GB under 18s, how pleased are you for them, and so sort of what does it mean for Chelmsford? It's fantastic for Chelmsford, and it's fantastic for them that. Um, you know that they're recognised. The team's been recognised. Um, you know, two up and coming youngsters um, that are, that are, that are, have made it through a, a, a good pool of players. And you know, in that age group, is very difficult. And uh, you, you've got to show um, some good qualities to be considered, um, even to make it into the you know the final cuts. Um, for them. You know, for, for uh, James to make it and Adam to be on the reserve, I think, uh, you know, it, it's great for the club. It shows what way that we're, we're, we're going and um, for the future, you know, hopefully it uh, encourages other, other, other kids in, a, in our group to, to sort of be pushing to, you know, follow in their footsteps. And finally, looking at these weekend games against the White Link Raiders, home and away. How are you going to sort of approach these games and how are you going to go about it? Um, I mean, in training, we'll, we'll be working a lot on uh, um, tight areas. Um, you know, it's, it's a difficult game across the Island. Ireland. They usually have a good crowd atmosphere. I don't expect any different. Um, a good, hard, solid, physical game, you know, you, Get a chance to make sure you, have, you, you take it. Um, there's no no easy games over in the island, so um, you know we're, we're going to be prepared for that. Um, you know when we get them back to our place, you know it's, it's a different story there. So uh, we have to go and approach it um, with, with confidence and, and go out, out play them uh, as much as we can.